Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Wozhack. All the time in the world. Permanent death. I'm not entirely sure why the D is capitalised in death. I hadn't noticed that before and it's starting to unsettle me now I've seen it. That aside, you may remember the last time we had a... Well, what seemed like a fairly successful run with the White Witch, but then she kicked the bucket... Um, mauled to death by an absolutely gigantic, soulless, vacant-eyed rat beast in a wine cellar. So that was a little disappointing. This time, we're going to have another go. Um, I'm undecided, though, about which character to go with. The White Witch does seem like the most successful well, not the most successful in that the Valkyrie run is still the best one, but she does seem like the easiest character so far to have success with. But I didn't want it to get repetitive, either for me or for you. Let's have another go with the White Witch for now, and we'll see what happens this time. Maybe we'll switch if this one doesn't go so well. Okay, Intelligence 18, Wisdom 16, Charisma 14, that's all fine. Dexterity is reasonable as well, so that's good. Let's go. Edwilly the Frozen. Edwilly the Frozen. Frozen and Willy should never be in the same sentence. Slightly schoolyard humour, but at least I didn't laugh at it. Alright, so straight off the bat we've got a kobold. Let's bat him right in the face! <laughs> okay. Kobold innards. Carrot. Dagger. Kobold innards are frequently poisonous, so I'm going to leave those behind, particularly since I'm not actually hungry at the moment. What's that? Key? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Sounds very quiet for me. Just give me a second. That's better. Turned up my volume. I don't know how it affects your volume. Uh, anyway, got a sleeping guy. Really, we should read our spell book straight away, but I think we need to take out this goblin first. So... Well, that didn't go so well. <laughs> no point in identifying anything because there's nothing to identify. So, that doesn't count as our final White Witch run. Let's have another one. See what happens when you have a frozen willy! Everything conspires against you, so let's go with Ursuth the Frozen. What is it with the Frozen theme of White Witches? Apparently this one is lawful but evil, which is a little worrying. I don't know if they all are. Uh, anyway, Ursuth. Slightly less embarrassing name. Ursuth and the Amulet of Zor sounds like a really cheap kid's fantasy novel. Or one of those Dungeons and Dragons adaptations. You know the ones. Pair of combat boots. Yeah! Levitation combat boots! So we've got the pretty similar setup to the previous White Witch. You know, the the proper previous White Witch, not the one that lived for 10 seconds. I mean, what, what were those Dungeons and Dragons books called? You know the ones. A really long, mostly unconnected series of crappy, half assed stereotypical Dungeons and Dragons themed books. I forget what the name was. Anyway, leather gloves, uh, giving us a little bit of protection and they make us look like we're in Fable with disproportionately large hands. This is roguelikes as created by Peter Molyneux, except not really, obviously, before either the creator or Peter Molyneux decide to start suing me. Okay, so we're getting a load of scrolls. Tempting to try them out right now, but first things first. Read the spell book. Really should have done that straight away, but I keep forgetting. You learn lightning! Good. Okay. So this one was a dead end, but at least we got a gem. Um, okay. Now, uh, I tried out the drop the gem to identify it trick before, and it didn't work. But I've since been told... Now, I'm, I'm doing this from memory here, but I think it was that only magic gems will identify when you drop them. Um, in the messages. Didn't get a message for dropping this at all, so... Let's try it one more time. Drop? No, doesn't say anything about it, so... I guess it's a nothing gem. If that theory is correct. But people are sometimes mistaken. 
And there seem to be some differences between versions of Wozhack. It seems like... Um, it seems, don't take my word for it, but it seems as though the iOS version is a little bit different. Let's use lightning on this git. Is he still alive? Wow. Okay, so we're going to need the key. Might as well take the meat and scoff it straight away. Yeah. Um, going to have to rest as well, because we're low on health and almost out of magic. Got most of it back now, so that's something. Um, there's a room here. Might be a dead end. No. Oh. Okay. Ooh, another spell book straight away. Okay, well I'm going to take out this thing first, and then I'll try reading my spell book. My new one. Dark green. Good colour. You learn teleport away. Um I th oh, there's a potion. Apparently it's a cursed potion, but I might as well take it anyway. Six red mushrooms. Uh, Alright. Um, yeah, so I think teleport away is... That sounds to me... That sounds to me like a spell that would teleport me away, but I think, actually, what it is, is... Um, I think it's actually a spell that allows you to teleport enemies away. I could be wrong, I suppose we'll find out when we use it. Iron Skull Cap had absolutely no effect because it's a crap one, so let's take it off. Oh, it's cursed! Why didn't you hiss at the hat? Maybe it did and I just didn't notice. Oh well. At least it's not doing anything harmful to me. Nothing more harmful than preventing me wearing a different hat, which isn't the worst thing that could possibly happen. Don't have enough mana. Uh, Alright, I'm going to have to use a wand. Hope it's a good one. Okay, that's not too bad. Blessed wand of cold. Let's use it on the other guy as well. It'll at least keep them off me while I... I froze myself and he's killing me! Oh, you fucker! Oh. No! What is going on today? Let's use the other wand. Wand of teleportation. Yeah, get away from me, you bunch of bastards. Alright. No! Go. Go. Away! <sighs> right. Now I'm going to have to have a little rest. Get my health and magic back. I'm also hungry. I'm not sure I actually want to eat the red mushrooms, though. They could very well have an illness sort of effect. Where's my cat gone? Where do those things always go? <sighs> well, um, let's try drinking a bubbly potion. Levitation. Ugh. That would be very handy if we were going into Telvanni territory, but we're not. Pet kitten runs away because I'm floating. It doesn't like being owned by a floater. Actually, that does sound pretty disgusting. Alright, so let's try and lightning this fella. Yeah! And this one? No, out of magic. So let's use Wand of Cold. Then go over and bash him. Yeah, take that. Come on. Wand of Cold. Yes! Worked in the end. Not a great wand, as it turns out. But... Better than being mauled to death by a giant rat in a wine cellar. Okay. Let's dip. What should I dip in here? Let's dip the blank scroll in. Nothing happens. In that case, let's drink it. You feel tough! That actually might be worth taking with us. I mean, does that have stacking effects? Drink? No. It stunned me and then dried up. So greed does not pay in Wozhack. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, thank you. Still can't pick things up because I'm still bloody levitating. There we go. So let's grab this potion. Let's have a rest because we're still very low on magic. Okay, apparently we're weak from hunger so we really need to get some food here. There's an apple. And there are those mushrooms in our pocket. So, let's eat the apple first. And then, 
I guess risk the mushrooms. Powerful red mushroom. Toxic red mushroom. Tasty red mushroom, toxic red mushroom. Okay, but I, I'm at least not hungry anymore, so that's something. Ah, I wonder if that dark staff is better than my normal wooden staff. Let's see. The cat didn't growl at it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's definitely not cursed. Yep, staff is cursed. Great. Was it at least better than the other one? Uh, has no noticeable effect. Right. Whatever. Um, okay, let's have a look. People keep telling me you can um, enchant staffs with spells and things. Yeah, store spell. What can I store in it? I could store lightning. I could store teleport away. That could be a handy one, actually, for getting rid of enemies in a tight spot. Let's do that. Book, spellbook of Teleport Away can now be cast from your cursed dark staff. And from what people have been saying, that just has a recharge time. It doesn't drain your magic or anything. And a load of rats, of course. Don't have enough mana to cast my spell, so I'm going to have to rely on the Wand of Cold. And my big stick. Oh, man. Okay, um... How do I cast magic from the staff, though? Can I zap with it? No, that doesn't work. Do I have to do it from the inventory? Store spell? Um, is it three? Yeah, there you go. Cast a spell from the staff. Here we go. Oh, it hasn't charged yet. So it doesn't start off charged. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Alright, well, if anyone's curious, this is what I was carrying. Worthless blue glass. Skeleton key, I guess that could have been handy. Potions of healing. Shame. Um, some enchant weapons, some create monster. And, yeah, that was a minus two stuff, so not brilliant. Okay, one more time. Um, one more white witch. One more. Here we go. <sighs> Alright, first, before I do anything else, read the Spellbook of Lightning. Because I need that spell straight away. Now, pick up the food and the potion. Zap the rat. There we go. It was a shame that we actually didn't gain a level or anything in the previous episode. That would have been handy. Because then I'd be able to start gaining those sort of bonus effects that improve my magical abilities and my mana recharge and all of that good stuff. Okay, a apparently the pet has died. I assume it got caught in my lightning spell. Um, I don't have anything to zap this guy with. I guess I could throw a potion at him. Let's throw a swirly one. Potion of confusion. Alright, now run in and hit him with a stick. Die! Die! Bastard! Ugh. Yeah, that didn't work so well. Alright then. I'm going to give up on the witch for today. Let's go instead for the huntsman, because we did have a fairly good run with um, a ranged class. We've got Dexterity 17, which I think is the important stat. And we're Edmund Drew the Free. He thinks he's Robin Hood. Alright, so... Scroll. We don't have to worry about reading a spell book immediately with this guy. That was the wrong one. That's the one. Take that. And you. I can see you. Um, apparently I can't hit you though. There we go. Straight through the head. Not necessarily the best place to shoot someone with an arrow, I have to say. I'm sure there was an arrow there. Oh well. Lamp straight away isn't a bad development. Um, dead goblin? Mm, no meat. I've got some arrows back though. Okay. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Okay. Again, need to regain my arrows. Get some cheese. 
Regain the arrows. Yes. Okay. So this is already going better than the previous, what was it, three or four White Witch runs. But um, I am going to miss having the ability to shoot lightning at stuff, I have to admit. I'll take the... No, I won't take the short sword. We've experimented with this before and found that just bashing things with the bow actually seems to be more effective. Oh, man. All right. Let's um, shoot him. Yeah, that worked out, more or less. I accidentally picked up a crude dagger, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Let's read the scroll straight away. Enchant weapon. Good call. How about this one? Create monster. Not such a brilliant outcome, but at least it was a manageable couple of weak enemies. Boxer puppy is wounded. So that's not great, but frankly, there isn't a lot I can do about it. I'm not in a position to try and heal it. Um, horned bow and arrows. I'm going to try the horned bow, see if it's better. It's probably not much different, in all honesty. Any change? Yeah. I don't know whether the horned bow has better stats sort of better base stats. So I'll switch back to my original bow. That seems to be going reasonably well. What's that? An axe. Not really bothered. And down this way. Money and a gem. Um, there does seem to be a lack of food at the moment. I mean, we've got these two items here, which aren't bad. In fact, I'll eat the pen now to try and fend off the approach of hunger. I feel like it's going to come any moment now. Um, but yeah, not not an excess of food at present. What do we want to go with this time? Weapon knowledge? No, not so much. Mycology? You can make potions from mushrooms? No. Half damage is taken by losing mana instead. Weapon precision? Yeah, let's go with weapon precision. 100% more critical hits when firing a bow. Yes. Okay. Helmet? Could work. Let's give it a try. I think I've said before I don't know whether wearing heavy armour affects your accuracy or anything like that, but I suppose we'll try it and just see. I'm sure we've tried it and seen before, but I've completely forgotten. Investigate the door, kill the kobold, and then hopefully kill the other kobolds before they kill me or my dog. Come on, down we go. Another level. See, already we're gaining more levels than the previous witches did. It's astonishing about Wozhack that you can have um, such successful runs and then such abysmally unsuccessful runs in rapid succession. It really is a true roguelike. Three levels! Are you having a laugh? So I'll keep going with weapon precision. Might as well make myself as dangerous as possible. To myself, if not to anyone else. And then club them with the bow. Oh, hell. Alright, come on. Finish them off. Finish them off. <sighs> that was close. I'd better take this bastard out as well. Before it squidges up to me while I'm having a nap. And have a rest. Right at the brink of death. You begin to feel hungry. Fine, but I want to continue sleeping, thank you. Rest. Ah, uh, Come on, eat the kobold innards. Oh, there's a rat getting in the way of my sleep. That's the problem. But another kobold? What's wrong with you lot? Didn't you have anything better to do? God. Just let me rest. And now I'm hungry again. Eat the kobold innards. Eat the bread. Eat the other bread. Now at last we're full, so hopefully we'll be able to have uninterrupted sleep for a while. Unless we uh, wake up to be told that we feel full, which seems silly if you ask me. Alright, what have we got? Lying amidst all the treasures on the floor. I'll investigate that. Apparently we... no. Apparently we got... Kobold innards. All this crap that we have no need for. Arrows and arrows. That's not all the money that um, 
allegedly you're meant to find in these things. No, nope. just arrows, basically. Um, tempted to take the spell book, I have to say. Uh, but no, not going to do that. I will take all this loot and another arrow and a scroll. Now. Hmm. What do I have potion-wise? Brown, fluorescent, yellow. Let's drink brown potion. Confusion, don't really care. Potion of blindness. Now that's not great for a ranged character. And we can't read the scroll because we're too blind. <laughs> I am going to eat these innards immediately for reasons that I've discussed at some length before. Yeah, really not feeling the blindness here. You know, this this is um I don't appreciate it. It's a bad turn of events for an archer. Anyway, let's toddle down this way. Oh, got some more arrows that I didn't even know were there. Okay, and then basically back to the ladder and down to the floor below. You can upgrade your bowmanship, and by bowmanship I mean your ability to bash things with a bow. Okay. Looking pretty much like a viking at this point, I have to say. Less like Robin Hood, more like... I don't know. What's the name of a viking? Like a famous viking, not a real viking. Um, got anything over here? Clear gem. Carrot, rat meat. All the usual treasures in the dungeons of Wazhack. It's amazing that there aren't more people down here to claim this wealth of riches. Right. Hopefully the blindness will wear off sometime before we reach the bottom of the dungeon. But it does tend to drag on a bit. I'm getting quite a lot of meat. And we're still not over full, so I'll eat the meat. There we go. Full. Not full to the point of throwing up, as we have been before, but at least full full. Oh, holy shit balls! That's quite a lot of kobolds. But they fell before my might. And what did they drop? They dropped more innards. And just some stuff. Not bothered about the stuff, as you know. Um, can't read the scrolls at the moment. So I suppose just to keep moving on. I do not want to fiddle with the fountain. But I will go and pick something up specially for that purpose. Picked up a short sword, that'll do. So now let's dip our... Uh, oh, we had a dagger and stuff anyway. Let's dip the short sword in. A water nymph stole my bow, you fucker! Get back here! I don't want to bash her with my bare hands, so I will get out the horned bow and hit her with that! Fucker! You gained a level. She was unlucky running into a dead end there. Um, let's go with first aid. Faster healing. Okay, what can we get from her blue outfit? Probably does nothing. Some boots, some more boots. I'll take the pairs of boots. I'll take both the bows as well. Whatever. Not a great haul of treasure, really. But better than nothing at all. Um, let's equip my plus one bow again. Hmm. Do I not have any boots on at the moment? Alright then, um, okay, let's try the studded leather suit. Is that better? No. Oh. Um, change back to the other one and see. Yeah, it seems to be slightly better than my previous armour. And I'll also, I'll try the green boots. They seem normal. Push my luck and try the other boots as well. Okay, those are not so great. At least they're not cursed, though. My feet are gigantic. What the hell? Okay, so that's all fine. Gained a little bit there. Not a big deal, but better than nothing at all. Um, oh, we've already passed the ladder. It's back over here somewhere. 
The blindness is becoming real! Life mimics art! Ah! Okay. Hmm. I'm glad that we at least haven't run into anything too severe yet. It's just been these sort of relatively basic enemies. I haven't run into any orcs or bugbears or anything horrific like that that I would suddenly find coming upon me from an inch away in my blind state. I nearly said blindened. I don't think that's a real word. Okay. Just keep shooting these bastards. Hey. Okay. Hmm. What? The boxer drank the swirly potion. What are you doing just drinking booze off the floor? Who do you think you are? Good grief. I suppose you've learnt your lesson now, at least. You're not going to take to just drinking shit that you find lying around. And let's pop out an arrow towards these kobolds. Yeah! Kobold Massacre. Alright, got a load of innards, some apples. Fine. Let's eat those delicious entrails. Oh no, I'm too full. I'm so accustomed to characters in this just being hungry all the time that it didn't even occur to me to check. At least I'm not blind, but I assume I'm going to somewhat throw up soon. Oh no, I'm not over full. I'm just poisoned. <laughs> This might be a good time to try the lamp, but what if it's cursed? Eh, it's not cursed. Seems like a normal lamp, actually. Pretty much. Somehow I've managed to accidentally equip everything, so let's get rid of all that shit. So, untick, untick. There. Oh, scrotum tassels. <sighs> well, in that case, let's see how we fare the next time. Pressing on through the dungeons of Wozhack as a snake accompanied by a dog that's become a goblin. Thanks for watching as always. I hope you got at least some small mirth out of the repeated feeble deaths of today's white witches. Uh, thanks for watching, come back the next time round and we'll see how this snake-based disaster goes. Until then, bye for now.